First couple drills, I'm gonna be taking you through the ladder. It's a drill that I use to get my feet warmed up, get my hips going, and to get my brain synced up with my body. So I'm gonna set the ladder up, and if you don't have a ladder, there's a lot of different things you can use. You can use shoestrings, you can use a towel, you can even envision a ladder. So the first drill is the icky shuffle. It's a great drill to sink your feet with your brain and to get your foot speed going. I like to start with my eyes down to see where my feet are and progress as you go. So it's gonna be two feet in, one foot out, each box. So it's important in this drill to keep your arms pumping and if you can, keep your eyes up. It's opposite arm, opposite leg, each rep and burst finish. So the next drill I'm gonna walk you through is a karaoke. This is really important for running backs because it helps you with your hip rotation as well as sinking your feet on ground contact. Your first step is a crossover. Your next step is off, then your next step is out. So you're going one in, two out, same as the icky shuffle, just with your hips rotating and finish. It works great for running backs, not just for hip rotation, but once again, starting to sink your brain with your body and it's a great drill for all running backs. All running backs run with this, right? Run with the ball. So when you're working your drills, Keep the ball high and tight, the five points of contact, right? Your fingertips, your palm, your forearm, your bicep, and across your chest like that. Try to replicate that in every drill you do. This next drill is a simple cutting drill, but the mechanics and the technique of it is extremely important. You don't want to do it wrong. You're going to start in a good running back position with the ball high and tight. You're going to take scissors footwork. You want to go around each cone. It's important when you go around each cone to plant, burst out of the cut. Don't reach, don't get choppy. So make sure you keep sinking your hips, get your feet under you, and stick to efficient movements. So you're here, boom, boom, boom. And when you get to this last cone, I want you to square it up. So I know Saquon taught you guys about the jump cut. That's a great move to utilize right here. And it's really important after your cut, to get vertical. This next drill is a simple drill and it's all about a three-step cadence. This three-step is something you can use when you have the ball in your hand. It's something you can use at the top of a route. It's a very versatile move that I've tried to take into every single aspect of my game. You want to stay linear on the line. When you're linear, the pace in your head and the rhythm has to be the same through the whole time. So as I'm here, you're slow into it. And it's one, two, three. And on the third, you wanna give a little jab to get the defender to go just to smudge that way and continue to accelerate. So it's gonna look like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is a very basic drill and a lot of the drills I'm showing you guys are very basic because especially at a young age, it's extremely important to focus on the fundamentals of the game. I still rep these every single day. I don't try to get too fancy with it. I keep it simple and I try to rep it perfectly because that's the stuff that's going to help you win at the end of the day. Can't wait to see you guys on the field.